I'm Dr. Brian Minch. I'm the president of the Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment. I'm a practicing anesthesiologist at LDS Hospital and fellowship trained in intensive care medicine. I'll give you about a 30 second summary of, of what we'd like you to think of regarding the health consequences of incinerator facilities. Stericycle is constantly releasing what really amounts to poison in the most populated part of Utah. With Utah having the highest rates of autism in the nation, having sometimes the worst air pollution in the nation, with the medical literature repeatedly showing a strong correlation between the two, even contributing, every contributing source to the problem must be uh, renewed in our scrutiny of them both from the public and from regulators. The scientific evidence that facilities like this cause serious harm to the surrounding community is as undeniable as the evidence that smoking causes lung cancer. Now on the slide you see here before you are figures taken from the permit. This facility is permitted to emit into the atmosphere into this neighborhood 300 pounds of lead per year. 912 pounds of chlorine per year, 18 pounds of cadmium, 60 pounds of mercury, and I think, I hope this is a typo, but the permit says 1,294 tons of hydrogen fluoride. Now, hydrogen fluoride is one of the most toxic gases known. It's used by about half of the refineries in the country. It is so toxic that the EPA, EPA requires refineries to make a risk assessment if their tank of hydrogen fluoride explodes and creates a hydrogen fluoride gas in the community, the EPA requires the refineries to make an assessment of how many people would die if that happened. Worst case scenario. The EPA's assessment for most of these refineries is hundreds of thousands of people would die in that case. Their permit allows them to emit 1,294 tons per year from this facility. That amount of mercury is comparable to a full-scale coal-fired power plant. The CDC has stated there's no safe level of lead and there's no safe level of mercury to be exposed to the uh, community, especially to children, yet this facility is emitting as much heavy metals like mercury and lead as a full-size coal-fired power plant. And worse still, it is being emitted from a, sh a smokestack that is much shorter. So the concentration in the local community is higher. This facility does not provide a necessary product or service to the community. There are safer ways to dispose of hospital waste that we will leave to others to offer details on. Finally, the health consequences of this incinerator make it unquestionably an overall economic liability to the community. It is long over, overdue that the incinerator part of this facility be shut down.